Hi everyone and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm making a delicious vanilla ice cream, a really good quality, not a French vanilla, which means it has a little extra egg yolk in there, just a good quality vanilla ice cream with real vanilla beans. Now I will be using this ice cream in subsequent videos and I'll refer back to it when we're making Rocky Road, for instance, or cookies and cream. Um, but let's get on today and just make a wonderfully delicious, simple vanilla ice cream. <music> Okay, we've got four egg yolks in a bowl and we're going to sweeten those with 120 grams or four ounces of caster sugar, super fine sugar. And I am putting one tablespoon of corn flour or corn starch in there. Now, now chefs would not normally use corn starch in a custard, but if this is your first time, I highly recommend it because custards split very easily and the corn starch will allow it to bind together that little bit earlier and less chance of the custard splitting. So now we're just going to take a whisk and we're going to whisk this together until we get a lovely smooth cream. That's what we're looking for. Now let's set that aside. Now firstly, let's take a pint of milk, that's 600 mils of full cream milk, and just pop that into a saucepan with a nice thick bottom to it. Now what makes a good vanilla ice cream is good vanilla pods. If you don't want to use a vanilla pod, you can use a vanilla extract, but we're just going to split this pod down the middle, take a sharp knife, now, if we open up the vanilla pod, you can see all the wonderful seeds inside. I'm just going to take the back of my knife. I'm going to scrape it along and get all those lovely seeds out. Now, a lot of the flavor is in the wonderful vanilla seeds, but we certainly don't want to discard the vanilla pod either. That's going to go into our milk and we we'll pop that on the stove and we're going to bring this up to a simmer. Now, I've just brought my milk over to the stove and we're just going to bring that up to heat almost to a boil, but not quite. Now here's where you could really do with two hands. I've put my bowl onto a non-slip mat. I've got my heated milk, it's very warm, and we don't want it to cook this egg off. I've removed the vanilla stem, you can see there. I'm just gonna pour a cup of this into the egg and sugar mixture, and I've got to stir at the same time. Otherwise it will cook the egg. So very quickly now, stir that through. And then we can slowly Put the rest of the milk and vanilla mixture in. Let that cool down just a little bit. What I want to do now is put my vanilla mix back into the saucepan. And I'm going to take that back over to the stove, but let me explain to you how we're going to reheat this. We want to reheat this, but we don't want it to come up to a boil. We need this to come up until it's thickened, and that's why I put the cornstarch in there, because it will thicken a little earlier than it will. If we don't continue to stir it, the eggs will split, and what you're looking for is eventually it's going to coat the back of this spoon. Now you'll see there the custard has started to thicken, and it's coating the back of the spoon nicely. I'm going to take that off the heat now. And I'm gonna take that thickened custard and putting it into a different container. And we want this to completely cool down, but I'm going to add 200 mils of a very thick whipping cream into this as well. After all, this is ice cream. And thoroughly mix that through. And before we can use this to make ice cream, we need it to chill down completely. So that has to go in the fridge for at least three or four hours until it's very cold. Now I'm using one of these ice cream makers that actually attaches to my mixer. And if there's one tip I can share is make sure these are frozen at least overnight. It gives the ice cream a better chance of setting. And secondly, make sure your ice cream mixture is chilled right down. That way it gives a chance for the ice cream maker to make this into a lovely soft serve. So we have our frozen bowl. I've got this blade which goes around inside, pretty much the same with all ice cream makers. I pop the lid on. Put my mixer down. Now this mixer will go on the slowest speed possibly. And now what we're gonna do, I've got a funnel here. I'm gonna pour this ice cream custard mixture in through that funnel. Now as those blades go around, they pull the frozen ice cream away from the outside into the center, making a wonderful soft serve. And I'm gonna leave this running for 30 minutes until it's ready. Now after 30 minutes, the ice cream will thicken like this. It's a beautiful, creamy, soft scoop ice cream at the moment. And we wanna get it out of here fairly quickly because otherwise this may set and you won't be able to pull it out. Now you could serve this straight away. We could take, this is a, a soft scoop stage now, so we could take this ice cream as it is. 
And that, as I say, is that beautiful vanilla bean ice cream now. You could pop that in a bowl and serve it. I'm gonna try this for you guys just to let you know what it tastes like. Or better still, pop this into a container and put it in the freezer for half an hour just to firm up a little bit more before you serve it. So let's give this a try straight from the machine. Here goes. Mm. Oh, homemade vanilla ice cream is so delicious. And if I give one tip at all, it's the quality of your milk, your cream and your vanilla that really makes the difference. This is absolutely delicious. Please share the love, give this one a thumbs up. Look out for ice creams on the channel. I may be referring back to this one. I'll see you in the next video, be good. Well, I'm off to have a bit of vanilla ice cream. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll leave some links here to some other videos. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and stay in touch. I love to hear your comments. Take care, see you next time.